to your eyes I see we're out of time I guess no one's to blame Nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see Somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose so fast Maybe we got too high Hello everyone, I hope you're all well and you are nice and cosy. As we are entering a brand new season, I thought a big house clean would be a nice way to say goodbye to autumn and hello to the Christmas season. I'm also going to be decorating my house for Christmas this week, so I thought it'd be a perfect time for a big clean. So first things first, I'm enjoying a nice warm cup of coffee and I'm also just making a list of all the things I would like to get done today. Writing a list helps me stay on track and it's so satisfying to tick everything off. I've been so unmotivated to clean recently, so filming this video is motivating me and I hope it motivates you too. Just think how good you're going to feel once it's all done and you have a lovely, clean, beautiful smelling home. So as you can see, the winter scents are back in b &M, which just makes me so happy. These are my favourite Zofloras. So I picked up a Winter Spice. This was actually the last one left, so I felt very lucky to get this one. I also picked up two of the Giant. I've never seen these um, really, really big ones, but this is my favourite Zoflora scent. It just makes your home smell so warm and cosy. I just love it so much. So I got two of those. I also discovered that the Christmas Minkies were back and I got this little reindeer one and also a snowflake one. Then I thought I'd switch up my little plugins around the house because currently they're more of like a summer scent. Um, so I picked up a mold wine one which I had last year and it smells incredible. I also picked up this new one which I found which is warm amber rose. I thought that one would be nice. And then I got the mother of all plugins and I picked up this one because oh my god I just love the packaging I love the little gingerbread and the apples so this one is spiced apple if you haven't actually tried these ones before they're really 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 good I currently have a green one in my house which I think is a spring one and it's really strong and every time you walk into that room you can smell it so I'm very excited to plug this one in today then I also just picked up a few little bits that I'd run out of. So I got some more duck. I've never seen this fruit, fruitopia one before. So I thought I'd give that one a try. Um, I've got loads of the pine one, which I love, but I thought this one was red and kind of went with the season colors. <laughs> and then I also picked up this natural French soap flash, which I haven't tried yet. I've seen so many people try this and I haven't been able to find it. So I'm excited to use that. And then washing bits. Oh my gosh, look at this. So this is the Mrs. Hinch Winter Edition, the Lenore Rose Wonderland. I'm far too excited to use all of these products today. I don't think it's normal to be this excited to clean, but I've actually got some washing to put on in a moment, so I'm gonna be using this. I shall let you know how good it smells. And I also picked up the Frosted Pine and Apple. I had this last year and it smells really, really good. And then, I saw this Fabulosa laundry cleanser and, I don't know, just caught my eye. I thought it looked jazzy, so I picked one of those up. Don't think I've ever said the word jazzy in my life, but there we go. Then I also got another one of these Febreze fabric refreshers. I get through so much of this. I pretty much spray it on everything fabric and it just keeps your home smelling really, really fresh. Really, really recommend this if you do a lot of cooking in your home or you have pets and you just want to keep it smelling fresh. Then, oh my goodness, I was so excited about this. <laughs> I got the Lenore crease releaser. You guys know I don't iron, I hate ironing. Therefore, this is gonna come in handy. And I actually picked up four of these. I'm excited to try this on bedding. Um, if it works on bedding, that would be amazing. And then I also spotted some of these in B&M as well. They had loads of different ones, but I just got the cleaning one. And I thought I could fill this with Soflora and like spray it on the radiators and rub it into those and stuff. So I thought that would come in handy today. Then a few other little bits. I've never actually used these. Um, so I'm gonna try these out today. I did my black washing yesterday, which I've got to hang up. So I'll try that next time, but I'm gonna try the brilliant white one. Um, I really struggle with keeping my clothes looking fresh. Like I find black, really does fade quite quickly. So I thought 
it's worth giving these a go and I think these were only a few pounds each then very very excited about these I used to actually buy these bags separate and fill them up with unstoppables um, but I saw these little pre-made ones so what I'm going to do with these is actually just pop them in my cushion covers on my sofa I already do that with unstoppables and like when you sit down the smell just like wafts and it's amazing and these were only £1.50 then next I needed just a little pot of the pink stuff on its own but they didn't actually have it but they had this little cleaning kit which I think was £3 and in there you also get a microfiber cloth and also a little scrubby pad as well so I thought that was really good and I also picked up a top up of the pink stuff I always use this and I've just run out I use this in the shower in the sinks on the sides it smells amazing it's everything looking super shiny as well and then last but definitely not least my darlings I picked up some microfiber cloths I get through these like there's no tomorrow so I just thought I'd pick up a little six pack here so before i get into cleaning i'm going to pop a playlist on i'm currently listening to my chill playlist i find having music on just helps me really zone out and it makes cleaning just really therapeutic So when I'm having a cleaning day, I always like to start with the washing. So I've actually just finished doing a black clothing wash, which is now ready to hang out to dry. But I'm going to pop my white washing in. First, I'm using one of my brilliant white sheets, which I can confirm are so good. It made my white washing look just really fresh, like it was brand new. So I would highly recommend those. And I'm also going to be using some of the Tropical Lily Surf, which smells so good. And also some of the Mrs Hinch Rose Wonderland. This made my washing smell so strong and it almost smelled like I had perfume on. And then once the white washing is washing away, doing its thing, I'm gonna hang out my freshly washed black washing to dry. It's just the two of us, just the two of us. But I know I'll have to try, try to let she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let Next I'm gonna air out the kitchen I like to do this in each room when I'm cleaning it um, just so the room can be really aired out and the cleaning products aren't too strong in the house. So I'm just gonna clean away all of the clutter off the sides so it's nice and clear. And I'm also going to empty the dishwasher. Without knowing she did. But I guess that it will pass. Yeah, I can't be the only one who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close So I'm starting with the kitchen sink today I like to use the pink stuff spray with a damp minky the pink stuff is brilliant for kitchen surfaces, sinks, bathrooms. You can even use it on the skirting board. It's very much multi-purpose, so you can pretty much use it anywhere. It's so good at removing dirt. It almost dissolves it and it just slides off all your surfaces. So it's a really, really brilliant product. It also smells amazing and it leaves surfaces just looking really shiny. So once I've given the sink a good scrub, I like to dry it with a microfiber cloth and then I will use some of my white vinegar spray. I use this so much. I use it on anything that's mirrored or chrome and it just leaves such a shiny finish. And then I'm gonna fill up my sink with the warm cinnamon zoflora and some hot water. I forgot just how good the warm cinnamon scent is. It makes my house smell so Christmassy. Hey, I found my heart. I found my heart. 
so whilst the soflora is steaming away in the sink and making the entire house smell so so festive i am going to get a damp microfiber cloth and i'm also going to spray some of my diluted zoflora over the worktops and over the cupboards i pretty much go over everything with this also if you pop this on your radiators and your kettle as soon as they start to heat up it will make your whole house smell so beautiful So with the cooker, this thing gets so dusty so quickly. <laughs> it's the most annoying thing ever, but I found a really quick way to just give it a quick little clean. If you don't have too much kind of dirt on there, you can just go over it with a wipe. So that's what I tend to do. Um, I'm just using one of these citrus wipes, which are from Morrison's and I just collect all the crumbs and the dust and whatever else is on there. And then what I like to do is again, go over it with my white vinegar spray and a microfiber cloth and this just really buffs out any kind of like smears and again makes it look super shiny. Now this is a job I've been putting off for far too long but I thought today is the day to sort the fridge out so i'm gonna take the whole contents of the fridge out as we can see it's pretty bare i do need to do a food shop um but i'm gonna take all of the food out i'm then gonna go over all of the shelves and all of like the sides of the fridge with um some more flora and a damp microfiber cloth i am then just gonna pop everything back in and this actually made such a difference just picking up like all of the little crumbs and giving like the shelves a little bit of the polish so yeah, I'm feeling good after this task. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Moving on to the dining area, I'm going to go back in with my white vinegar spray. This is also brilliant for anything glass. If you have any glass tables in your life, I feel sorry for you because they get fingerprints on so much. I find myself cleaning mine every single day. So once I've cleaned the dining room table and the mirror, the white vinegar spray is also incredible on mirrors. You need some in your life. It's just so good on pretty much everything. <laughs> And then I'm going to give my faux flowers a little freshen up with some room spray and I'm also going to hoover the floors. I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So moving on to the living room, the first thing I'm going to do is remove all of my scatter cushions from my sofa and I'm just going to give the seats a little bit of a hoover with my little Dyson hoover just to get rid of any crumbs or any cat hair, any stuff like that that you don't want on your sofa. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some of my new little scented bags into my cushions. I can confirm these smell so good every time you sit on the sofa, it just... I don't know, it's like a waft of fresh air. I really wanna know, really wanna know If I could change something 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 If I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down If 
Even if the sky is falling down Before I head upstairs, I'm just going to give the hallway a little freshen up. So I'm just going to go over everything with my duster. This one is from Amazon. I will link it below. And I'm also going to give everywhere a hoover as well. If I'm doing a real deep clean of the house, what I'll also do is get a bowl of diluted Soflora and I'll go over all of the doors and all of the handles and do all of the skirting. But I actually only did that last week. Um, but that will make your house smell incredible and I feel like cleaning the skirting boards always makes it feel and look a lot cleaner. Then moving on to the stairs, I actually have this big, I feel like this is a washing up brush from B&M. Um, and what I actually like to do is I like to go across the joins of the stairs i find this collects so much dust and cat hair and just like little bits of paper and stuff i find a lot lies within the joins of the stairs so if you do find yourself having sort of build up of stuff on your stairs then try using a brush first so i'll go over each stair with the brush and then i'll go over it with my dyson again let's be honest for a second yeah you'll be over your head, babe Cause there is no one other than me that can make you feel the way Then moving on to the bedroom To be honest, there wasn't really a lot that needed to be done in here It just needed a bit of a freshen up So again, I'm letting some fresh air in Go over anything mirrored with my duster And then again, my white vinegar spray and a microfiber cloth Okay, on to my least favourite job, which is cleaning the bathroom. I don't know why this is just such a tedious task for me, um, but having you guys with me, it motivated me, so thank you. First, I like to go over the toilet with a wipe just to get rid of any germs or any dirt that's on the toilet, and I like it because I can just throw it away after. Wipes are also really, really good for getting rid of dust. Then I'm going to take one of my fairy multi-purpose sponges. Now, just a little... FYI, I will be throwing this away after using it on the toilet. And I actually used the French natural soap spray on the toilet and it was really, really, really good. Cleaned it really well and left it smelling really amazing. And then I'm just gonna pop some of the Duck Deep Action Gel down the toilet and give the actual toilet, is this called a toilet pan? I'm not sure, but the actual toilet with the toilet brush just to get rid of anything in there and then I'm gonna flush the toilet let all of that soak away and then add a little bit more just so it keeps the bathroom smelling super fresh Then on the sink again I'm gonna be using the natural French soap flash this is actually one of my new favorite products it just smells so good and then of course I'm gonna fill up the sink with Soflora I will do this in the shower and in the bath as well just so it can kind of sit there for a bit and help make the house smell lovely.
myself And I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side So I wanted to show you the absolute state of the skirting boards in my shower room. Not really sure why I'm doing this to myself, but this is the reality. So this is something I haven't done in a while and it honestly made such a difference. So if you do have the same problem as this, I am here to motivate you to do it because you'll feel good after. So what I like to do is just get a damp microfiber cloth, pop it in the Zoflora water and just simply scrub the skirting boards. It's not the nicest task, but it is easy and it will make such a difference. I mean, look how clean they are after. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. I'm a sweet baby. Definitely not least, my loves, it's time to sort out the dumping room, which is the utility room. I am going to clear all the sides and sort out my cleaning cupboard. Again, this is something I've been meaning to do for so long and it just feels so good now it's done. Okay, are we ready for the best feeling in the entire world to kick in? I am gonna take a cozy little seat on my sofa and drink my coffee and just love life in my happy little clean house bubble. Honestly, it's the best feeling when you've spent forever cleaning your house and you can finally sit down and just be like, oh. So my loves, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's motivated you to clean if you've been putting off like me. And yeah, my house is now lovely and clean ready for me to decorate it for Christmas. I can confirm that my Christmas decorating video will be live this weekend. So if you aren't already subscribed, please hit subscribe. And I'm also gonna do a Christmas cleaning video for you guys as well, kind of nearer to Christmas when I've collected lots of Christmas products. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're all safe and well, and I will see you on Saturday morning. I love you all so much.